So, Yelan is seeming to be an amazing character coming in 2.7 with her abilities looking absolutely amazing. And so, now the question is, how are her constellations? Well, let's find out right now. So constellations are very important to a character, however some are better than others. Will Yelan be a character that relies on the constellations or can she function perfectly at C0? Let's find out. So let's start with her C1. Her C1 states that her lifeline ability, which is her skill, will gain an extra charge to use. Now this is very good as firstly, as long as you keep one charge on you, you will always have it to reposition yourself in case you get in a sticky situation. Secondly, with two uses of this ability, it could mean that you could quickly clear groups of mobs much more efficiently, but overall a decent constellation, but nothing too special. But now let's move on to a C2. So a C2 states that whenever Exquisite Throw does a coordinated attack, it will fire an additional Hydro Arrow, dealing 20% of Yelan's max HP, and that this effect can be triggered every 3 seconds. So this is really good. A decent damage increase, especially if you build her with a lot of HP. Now this can be triggered every 3 seconds, and seeing as her burst lasts 15 seconds, you could potentially get 5 of these attacks off, and so overall this looks like a great constellation to go for. It's also only C2, so not too difficult to get at least compared to her later ones, and so very, very good. Now her C3 is a skill level up, so not much to say here, but next we reach her C4. Now this is where it gets really, really good. So her C4 states that it will increase the party's HP by 10% for 25 seconds for every opponent marked by your skill, capping at 40%. So this is absolutely nuts. Getting a 40% HP increase for 25 seconds, especially with her C1 with the extra charge, and the fact that the cooldown is only 10 seconds means that you can easily get this buff for the majority of the fight, which is so, so good. So firstly, why is this so, so good? Well, Yelan's abilities do in fact scale off of her max HP, which means that this is a huge damage increase overall for her, as well as the fact that her C2 also scales off of her max HP to gain more, more damage. Also, there are other characters that scale off of HP, like Jean Li, for example, and seeing as this does in fact increase the party's HP, this means that Jean Li's damage will also be increased. And so this constellation could potentially be an insane increase to not only her damage, but the party's overall damage and survivability. And so overall, this constellation looks absolutely crazy. Definitely the best one up until now, and could definitely be the one to go for if you are planning on any constellation on this list. Moving on, we have her C5, which is a burst level up but now we reach her c6 and oh my god is it good so it states that upon using a burst she will enter a mastermind state in which all of yelan's normal attacks will be these breakthrough barbs that are similar to a charge attacks and will deal 130 percent of their normal attack damage so that was a mouthful but pretty much Yelan will enter a state in which her normal attacks will be replaced by these breakthrough barbs for 20 seconds or when 6 arrows are fired off. So this is a huge damage increase that will have Yelan pretty much fire 6 charge shots off extremely quickly. By far the best damage increase on this list, especially if you are thinking of building her as a main DPS this is the constellation you need. As well, her C4 is still very good, especially when building her as a support or sub DPS. In terms of just straight damage increases to Yelan, her C6 is where it's at. And so now overall, Yelan's constellations, how are they? Well, pretty damn good. While I still think she's perfectly capable at C0, as none of these constellations are quality of life changes to her, her constellations will truly elevate her to the next level, not only by increasing her own damage by a ton, but potentially helping out your team's damage by a ton. Notable constellations of Yelan include her C4, which helps her own damage and her team's damage by a lot, but also her C6, which is the biggest damage increase for her and is definitely the one to go for if you're thinking of picking her up as a main DPS. But now, what did you think about her constellations? Are you planning on going for any? Let me know down in the comment section below. And now, as always, if you did enjoy this video about Yelan's constellations, then leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.